Hi, welcome to your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I'm your host, Dr. Ghosh, and I'm back today with another very inspirational video for all of you. Friends, the video I bought for you today is all about freedom fighter, Indian civil activist and Gandhian Malti Chaudhary. She was the daughter of barrister Kumud Nath Sen and mother Snehalata Bhattara. She devoted her life for the cause of Indian independence. After independence, she actively took part in the process of India's development. She was very keen in areas of education, rural development, adult education and women empowerment. I'll be sharing more about her shortly on the video. But before that, I'd like to give you a brief about the channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. Today on the channel, we've got over 1200 subscribers, 37,000 views and 393 videos already uploaded. I request you kindly subscribe to the channel. Our mission is to ensure that the present and coming generations live by the eternal human principles such as honesty, integrity, loyalty and we change the thinking patterns of the present and coming generations so that they become better human beings. Once again, please like and subscribe the channel. Coming back to Malti Chaudhary, she was born on 26 July 1904 in Bihar in British India, born to a Brahmin family from Kaka Kama Rakhanda in Bikrampur, Dhaka in United India. This is now part of Bangladesh. Her family settled in Shimuntala, Bihar. Her maternal grandfather was Bihali Lal Gupta, ICS, and later the Diwan of Baroda. Also related were Ranajit Gupta, ICS, former Chief Secretary of West Bengal, and Indrajit Gupta, famous parliamentarian and Home Minister of India. Her eldest brother, P.K. Sen Gupta, was an IT Commissioner, and another brother, K.P. Sen, became the Postmaster General of India. Mother Snehalata was a famous writer and translated works of Tagore. Her book Juga Lanjali is quite famous. Her father was barrister Kumud Nath Sen who died when Malti was only two and a half years old. Malti was the youngest of all the children and hence was very pampered. Malti Chaudhary joined Rabindranath Tagore's Vishwa Bharti in 1921 and this proved to be a turning point in her life. She was very happy there. She was personally blessed by the teachings of Gurudev and his influence. Gurudev is Bengali poet Rabindranath Tagore. She was also much influenced by his patriotism and idealism. Gurudev's influence on her remained lifelong. She also met up Mahatma Gandhiji and learned from him the values and principles of education, development, art and culture. He was another strong influence on her life and because of his influence, she joined the freedom struggle later in her life. At Shanti Niketan, she learned embroidery, handicraft, dancing, painting and gardening. Gurudev used to frequently take classes and teach poems from his book Balakat. She was famous for her outgoing personality. Around this time, a young man named as Nabakrishna Chaudhary joined them at Shanti Niketan. They got engaged and Nabakrishna Chaudhary later went on to becoming the Chief Minister of Orissa. They both left Shanti Niketan together in 1927. Gandhiji used to call her Tufani and Ramidhna Tagoreji used to call her Minu. Nabakrishna Chaudhary 
and Malti settled in a small village in Orissa called as Anakhai. They started sugarcane cultivation and engaged in re- rural reconstruction, development, women empowerment and education, more so in adult education. When the salt satyagrata was called by Gandhiji, they joined in and were imprisoned. However, here too, they did not stop their work in prison and they taught the prisoners Gandhian values. February 1933, Chaudhary organized Utkal Congress Samajwati Kams Sang, which later became part of All India Congress Party. She was a proverbial, courageous, dynamic and strong woman filled with zeal. She was frank and outspoken. 1934, she accompanied Gandhiji in his Padhyatra across Orissa. Gandhiji, as he was much tired at the end of the day during the Padhyatra on one occasion, missed visiting a Harijan village. The villagers were disappointed. Other people did not point this out to Gandhiji, but she said, Babu, you have not done the right thing. Gandhiji apologized to her and promised to visit the village sometime later during his Padhyatra. Malti was arrested multiple times during the freedom struggle, 1921, 36 and 42, along with other women freedom fighters such as Sarla Devi, Rama Devi Chaudhary and several others. She established Bajirot Chat Chatravas in 1946, which was primarily for providing residential and education facilities for the children of freedom fighters, and but this was also extended later to scheduled tribes, scheduled caste and backward class members. It was established in the memory of a 12-year-old boy, Baji Raut, who sacrificed his life in his efforts to prevent the British from crossing the Brahmani River via boat. A courageous young man who gave up his life for the courage and dreams of independent India. 1948, she established Utkal Navajivan Mandal based mainly for rural development, tribal welfare and this did pioneering work in adult education. She also organized Krushika Andolan or Farmers Andolan to protest against zamindars and moneylenders. Going on, After independence, Malti Chaudhary became a member of Constituent Assembly of India and President of Utkal Congress Committee. She here emphasized her work on adult education. When her husband, Naba Krishna Chaudhary, became CM of Orissa in 1951, she supported multiple policies and actions in favor of SC, ST and BC communities. She also joined the Bhudan movement of Acharya Vinova Bhave. She was a dynamic lady and she died at the age of 93 on 15 March 1998. She got multiple awards. There are too many to list out but I am mentioning a few of note. National Award for Children Welfare in 1987, Jamnalal Bajaj Award in 1994 and earlier in 1988 she refused the prestigious Jamnalal Bajaj Award as it was being given by Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, who she believed did not do anything to enhance Gandhian values in politics. She got the Utkal Seva Samman in 1994. She got the Tagore Literacy Award in 1995. And she was also honored by the Rajya Mahila Commission in 1997. She won many other awards too. A brave freedom fighter, patriot, Gandhian and social activist Malti Chaudhary. Friends, I am sure you enjoy such videos which I bring for you on your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I request you once again 
kindly subscribe to the channel generous gracious and gallant i will be back soon with another very inspirational video on your favorite channel generous gracious and gallant till we meet again good luck all the best